people Victor Grant here from Napsta Films So what's up people, Victor Bran here from Napster Films and today guys we're going to do a Zack King magic trick how he turns water into ice but I'm not going to turn water into ice, I'm going to turn water into juice so we're going to use a lot of masking so guys I already have my clips imported here so let me just play through so let me and uh, I have just unchecked this top clip so that you can see what I have so this is just a clip of me pouring water into the glass so until I'm done so and the second clip that is on top here let me uncheck this one is just a clip of me pouring the juice into the same glass without moving the glass so and the last clip that I have here let me just uncheck this this is the clip of just me picking up the juice and drinking it so guys it's just really easy so we're going to select this bottom clip make sure our call this water so I'm going to type water and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to select my media tool and I'm going to hit F2 and I'm going to call this juice I'm going to select enter so I know which clip belongs where so we're going to move this around so another juice clip I'm going to just place it below here and guys we're going to be masking out the what so I'm going to switch all these so I'm going to double click so this clip of the juice is going to be our background and this other clip is going to be our foreground so we're going to move them around like so so and I'm going to select the water clip and I'm going to press B spline and I'm going to turn on the inspector and I'm going to invert it so that I can see through so I'm going to click on the merge and I'm going to press 2 so that I can see everything that we're doing in this viewer so I'm going to to just click here to turn on one viewer and I'm going to create more space in here like so so right away I'm going to go under the base plane and I'm going to go to the end of the clip here which is there I'm going to zoom in I'm holding control and using my scroll wheel so I'm going to be making a mask around here Let me just there around the glass close it out like so the reason that guys I, I went to the end of the clip is because this is where I want my clip to end this is how I want it to end so we are going to move this mask we are going to be creating keyframes each frame from the beginning so we go to the beginning of the clip here and you can see our mask is on top here but I want as the water comes up as the water comes up through this glass the juice below will be coming up too so it's like when the water the water just goes up at a certain level the the below below the water will be just juice it's, it's like we're going to be changing the water into juice slowly so i'm just going to go to this point and i'm going to bring down these points these selection points i'm going to bring them down like so because at this point the water hasn't even hit the glass 
So I'm going to use my arrow keys. So I'm using my arrow keys to move forward. So right away we see the water is now in the glass. So you can see as we move slowly, DaVinci Resolve has a habit of forming the, its own keyframe because we, we already placed a keyframe at this end here, at the end of the clip. So it's forming the keyframes as we move our and you're going to be changing this you're going to be moving this around so I'm going to hold my control and I'm using my scrolling to scroll a little bit more in here so that I can understand what we, what we are doing here So I'm going to create another key here by clicking so that I can move this around in a format that I want to or in a manner that I want to. So once again guys when you're doing masking you have to make it believable so you can see our water is at this point our juice below here. So we're going to use the scroll wheel to go and you can see here I'm going to bring it down a little bit here. It doesn't matter with the proportion so I'm going to be correcting the points where we can see water. I don't want to see this transparency so this is how we are going to do it I'm going to hold the scroll wheel to zoom out a little bit it's, it's really easy to do this guys But once we get here to this point, you see the water is still coming down, but we can't see it in here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go back using my keys here. So I'm going to make sure these keyframes just stay here. So I'm holding them down as the water rises so I'm going to unselect that and I'm going to do this I'm going to bring them down like so let me go back a little bit so that I can correct this part here So guys it's all about masking you're going to correct out the points that you don't see seem right to you it's really easy to do this so if I go forward I'm going to make sure this water does not as in the juice does not rise above the water because I don't want it to so the point of making a keyframe at the end of the clip was to make sure that we just have our keyframes there placing themselves automatically but the point of masking out this last part is to make it believable that you know you can still pour water but the juice is not forming so
because when I was shooting this clip, I, I, I didn't like the juice is more dense here than the water, so y you don't. Y it's not going to finish as 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 how as how the water is. The water is much lighter, so and guys we are done finish you have, you, have, you have done our masking so right away i'm going to play this so let me let me just close this for a second and fix this so you can see it's rising slowly so i'm going to go back to the edit tab And right away guys we have our juice forming below here so I'm going to let it load I have a slow computer guys and you know like this is heavy stuff that and it's not that heavy but the good thing with DaVinci Resolve is that you can you can run your programs you can just do your masking you can do your fusion compositions and it will just play out for you so this is the clip that we have guys you can see the water is rising so and then just bring this last clip in here and just bring it in here so so i'm, I'm going to let it load for a second so that we it turns blue if it turns blue then you're ready to play your clip but i don't want to rush it because my computer is a little bit slow i'm running on eight gigs of ram so let's play this you see how believable this can be guys so right away we are, we are done doing the zack magic so that is how you do it guys that is how you do it inside DaVinci Resolve 16 I'm running the studio version but you can also do it in the free version as well I've noticed that most of you are not subscribing to my channel you're watching the videos but you're not subscribing please subscribe so that we can grow out as a community so that we can grow out as friends so because I'm going to be showing you a lot of these tutorials how to do things inside DaVinci Resolve every week we are going to post another video we are going to do another video so that's it guys see you next time guys this is how easy it is to do the magic trick that Zaking always does and see you next time guys